mhlaba nabantu abalapha South Africa so uphile uwethu uphile nabantu so nyenzelekile noba yonke into nyenze nini nonke is it right yeah. so ubaleka ngolo hlobo ke izidingo zethu emhlabeni ba omi yavana nomi Peter Smoy, a small-time mushroom seller and former marijuana dealer, used to be without land and therefore without a home, which left him with no alternative but to live in the wilderness of Hogsback. Because I was getting fired in there where my parents was wrecked with officers. Now they push me down, they drive me down to the valley. Now I say I never go to the valley. I go straight to the bushes and sleep for two months. Although Peter no longer lives in the bush and now lives in Eskulerweni with his dog Gas, the dilapidated state of his home still makes everyday living a struggle. A good house. Not like this. But it's full of leaks. Yeah, for example. I'm not saying I'm not going to So, when the cabinet is cool, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Peter makes his living in the hog's back by walking through the forest and collecting mushrooms, which he sells to the locals as well as tourists. Yeah, see lots of things that I find that I know from the forest, I collect and I take it to the, to the street, selling it out. A bag, I used to charge a bag, full bag for 150. And uh, when there's no mushroom, I go to the forest and collect some berries. In the late 80s and early 90s, Peter lived in Cape Town. However, he had to leave in 1994 due to struggles finding employment as well as issues with the law regarding his selling marijuana. These legal problems have followed Peter back home, and now he struggles to make a living off the land due to these drug laws. The problem is what? When I was, was no, no job in Cape Town, now I'll see now I'll end up in jail. So the police, every time they, they, they catch me in, in town, it's Gaha. So I decided, no, I must go home. Man. Yeah, because I just tell them true, because this is not a, a, it's not a poison, it's not a drug, it's a medication. You can cook it, you can drink it for your for your la for your for your liver, to clean your liver, to clean your blood. And then it's good to make a cloth. Yeah. And the strings. Strong strings. So why do you get arresting for? So no, it's it's legal, so gonna talk about. They pull it all out, that one I show you, that tree or two trees, you know. The rest gone. Despite the fact that Peter Smoy has all the knowledge he needs to make a living off the land, he is still beholden to the land and drug laws that harshly affect his livelihood. And yet, he still looks on to the future with optimism, for himself and for his community. Because there is a dollar right, you have to, they have to dig it there and crash it, they employ people. As much as he has not found peace in the one place he calls home, he hopes that one day he will find peace and comfort for himself in the hog's back. Mm. To play my guitar, travel around, to make songs, till I die. Yeah, I think my parents must be here. Yeah. Because I'm born here. I must be here where I'm born, where I belong. <laughs>